Hey, what's up? Guinea YouTube here. Welcome back, everybody. So today, I will be giving you guys an update video for a video which blew up literally a few months ago on how to get motion blur in your Minecraft. Because since then, I found even more ways to get some impressive motion blur in Minecraft. And in today's video, I will show you how to get impressive motion blur like I have here. I mean, hopefully you guys can see it, otherwise I'll look like an idiot. But yeah, let's go. Leave a like, subscribe if you enjoyed the video, by the way. Hit the notification button because I'm a small youtuber you gotta feel sad for me right so anyways I mean let's just get in the video anyways yes so like my last video we went over some motion blur options for Minecraft and the different options for motion blur but since then there are a few better tricks to get smoother gameplay but just before we get into the options I would like to state that you'll probably need anything better than Tato to run for motion blur if you get 130 FPS as an average, you should be good to go. But if you get anything like roughly 200 FPS, then that would be just a guaranteed great experience. Since these tweaks run on the GPU, you're going to need a decently powerful graphics card, but not anything like NASA gaming PC as you know, like not you're not gonna need an RTX card by all means, so don't go ahead and buy an RTX card for Minecraft unless you're running those ray tracing shaders. If you get anything lower than a hundred FPS, I probably would recommend you guys upgrading your graphics card. But for an example, like I'm using my GTX 1050 Ti and I'm getting, as you can see here with the shaders in the bottom right, about 240 FPS clear, just like in for my first way to get motion blur, we are going to be using um, an add-on. Well, it's not really an add-on, but it's like a mod for Minecraft and other games, and it's called Reshade. You might have heard of it, you might have not heard of it. I don't know how popular it is, but basically, as you can see, once I click home here, you have all these different settings for like Minecraft. So you have color matrix, um, well, some good ones. We got some filmic passes and stuff like that. We got some sharpening. We got some other stuff, but I know you guys are here for the Minecraft and not here to make your Minecraft look like something cursed. Anyways, so, uh, you know, you can scroll through this, you find a setting called motion blur, fake motion blur basically, because it's not real motion blur, because it's not created by video and rendering. It's just created by uh, this little thing here, you can drag it around, you can do whatever you want with it, you can stretch it, you can shrink it. It acts like a Minecraft mod, but you can actually install this on different games. Now let me show you how you do this. So first of all, of course, you want to search search for Reshade, right? You want to go to reshade.me, I'm pretty sure, and um, you just click download, right? Uh, you want to click download, and it should take you to the download, but I've already downloaded it, so I'm going to show you guys how to set it up. So it should show up as like reshade setup, you know, and you want to go open GL because that's what Minecraft uh, runs on, right? But you want to go and find where your Minecraft is. It's usually under like, um, not system 32 because I would be a bit worried if Minecraft was in my system 32, but it's usually in your like program files. Um, I'm pretty sure it's somewhere down here. Um, you will, you'll be able to find it, believe me. Um, it's either like Java WS, or install it underneath your Java, and basically you want to go to, it's Java W, so it's actually Java W, uh, it might be different for you, I have um, the 1.8.0 version of Java. Once you restart Minecraft, it should come up, um, it should come up when you go full screen with a little reshade by because. Rosaya, I guess that guy's name is, and um, yeah, you should be able to press the home button and you should be able to, uh, you know, enable the motion blur here and it definitely decreases your frame rate. You can actually change how smooth you want it, so you can enable it all the way up and um, yeah, it looks very smooth, almost too smooth, distracting. So yeah, that's the first way to get motion blur in Minecraft. Okay, so for this next tip, this will require you to download a client such as the Badline client to run the motion blur. I included this last video, but things have changed already since in like the last few months. So here's an updated version for those who need it. 
So you'll want to download something like the Badline client as clients these days usually do have a motion blur option. Install it and run the game. And um, once you're in your Minecraft, open a GUI for the mods. For Badline, this is like the right shift button on the keyboard and search for, search for motion blur. Here you can configure how much um, motion blur you want. So find the ideal setting you guys want for your motion blur. And there you go. So yeah. This version doesn't really impact your frame rate as much as the reshade version, but it does look worse at lower frame rates. So, um, anything really below 150 FPS, the motion blur starts to look a little bit, you know, it, it just doesn't look great. It gets more blurry, but it doesn't look good. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. Um, overall, I think the reshade one's better, but, you know, you can always, uh, if that doesn't work out for you, you can always use a bad line version. So just, yeah, find the ideal setting you like, and you should be okay. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. I will see you guys sometime later, but remember, you know, leave a like, subscribe. Thank you so much for 1,400 subscribers, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.